When the morning light touches your skin, your cells awaken long before your thoughts do. The body, after a night of quiet repair, stands on the threshold between rest and renewal. This moment, just before breakfast, is more powerful than most people realize. It is a window in which your body decides whether to continue cleansing itself or to pause that inner housekeeping to digest new fuel. In my years of studying the process of cellular renewal, I learned that the human body has its own silent intelligence. It knows how to clean itself, how to remove damaged components, and how to recycle what can be reused. This self-cleaning mechanism, which we call autophagy, is one of nature's most beautiful acts of internal maintenance. But as we age, and as we rush to fill every empty space with food, this delicate process begins to fade. When you wake up, your body is still in the process of clearing away the metabolic waste that accumulated overnight. Your liver, your mitochondria, your very cells are busy sorting and dismantling old proteins, toxins and broken cellular parts. It is a quiet orchestra of microscopic workers, still tidying up from yesterday's wear and tear. Yet the moment we eat breakfast too soon, especially heavy, sugary or processed food, this orchestra is abruptly interrupted. The body's priority shifts from cleansing to digestion. It turns its attention to breaking down food instead of breaking down waste. So when I say, do this before breakfast, I do not mean an act of consumption, but rather an act of gentle awakening. Move your body, breathe deeply, drink water, step into light. These small rituals tell your cells, continue your work of renewal. The day has not yet demanded your energy for digestion. Let us begin with water. A glass of pure water in the morning is not a trivial act. During sleep, the body loses fluid through respiration and perspiration. Your blood becomes slightly thicker, your circulation slower, and your kidneys work quietly to remove toxins. When you drink water upon waking, you rehydrate every cell. This fresh water acts like a messenger, carrying oxygen and nutrients, flushing out the debris that accumulated overnight and signaling the body that it is safe to continue cleaning. Some people underestimate the importance of this. They reach for coffee before water. But caffeine, though stimulating, adds more demands to a system that is still finishing its night work. Water, on the other hand, is kindness in its purest form. It nourishes without burdening. It gives without asking. Now movement. The human body is designed to move gently after waking, not violently. A slow stretch, a few rotations of the joints, a brief walk in sunlight. These are not exercises for strength, but for awakening the biological rhythm. When you move before eating, you stimulate blood flow to the muscles and organs. This signals the body to mobilize energy reserves, glycogen and fat, instead of relying on incoming food. This simple act encourages metabolic flexibility, something many people lose with age. When you teach your body to use its own stored energy in the morning, you are training your cells to become efficient cleaners. They learn to recycle what is already there rather than constantly waiting for new input. It is a gentle reminder to your inner biology that self-sufficiency is possible. Autophagy, the body's self-cleaning mode, thrives when energy is scarce. It is not starvation, but rather a pause, a silence between meals that gives the cell a reason to look inward. Think of it as a house that organizes itself when no new furniture is being brought in. If new material constantly arrives, the mess only grows. The same is true of your cells. So delaying breakfast for a short while, even 30 to 60 minutes after waking, can have profound effects. During that brief window, your body continues the process of cleansing damaged mitochondria, misfolded proteins and cellular waste. It repairs the inner machinery that allows life to function smoothly. For seniors, this is particularly valuable because as we age, our capacity for repair naturally diminishes. Every chance we give the body to continue its internal housekeeping is an act of preservation. 
There is something sacred about this period before breakfast. The world is still quiet, the body still in a state of introspection. It is a time when you can align your inner biology with the rhythms of nature. The sunlight triggers hormonal cascades, cortisol rising gently to wake you, melatonin fading, insulin still resting. Your body does not yet expect food, it expects alignment. I often think of this as a kind of dialogue between you and your cells. You can either interrupt their work or support it. When you drink water, breathe, and move slowly, you are saying to your body, I understand your language. Continue your work. I will not rush you. This respect for your own biology is a form of wisdom. For those over 60, this morning ritual becomes even more important. The efficiency of autophagy declines with age, meaning the body becomes slower at clearing damaged material. This slowdown contributes to fatigue, stiffness, brain fog, and even the visible signs of aging. Yet the beauty of this mechanism is that it can be reawakened. It only asks for one thing, time without constant feeding. The first hour after waking is the perfect time to give it that chance. The body, still in a semi-fasted state, is already burning internal fuel. If you extend that period just a little longer and combine it with movement and hydration, you amplify the cleanup signal. The body senses that external energy is not immediately available, so it becomes resourceful. It begins to recycle, to repair, to rejuvenate. Even the brain participates in this morning renewal. During sleep, a special system known as the glymphatic system clears waste from brain tissue. This process continues briefly after waking. By staying in a calm, fasted state a bit longer, you allow this brain cleansing to finish. That is why people often feel mental clarity after a quiet, food-free morning walk. The fog lifts not because of caffeine, but because the brain's drainage system has completed its task. You may wonder why this topic matters so much to me. Why I speak with such passion about something as simple as waiting before breakfast. It is because aging is not merely the accumulation of years. It is the gradual loss of balance between damage and repair. Each day our cells experience both. Stress and recovery, breakdown and renewal. The choices we make determine which side gains the upper hand. Modern life tilts us toward constant input, constant eating, constant stimulation, constant demand. But the body's wisdom lies in cycles, in pauses, in intervals of rest. To start your day in a fasted, mindful state is to honor those natural cycles. You are giving your body space to remember how to heal itself. Some may ask, is it dangerous to delay breakfast? For most healthy individuals, it is not. In fact, it may enhance metabolic stability. Of course, those with specific medical conditions should consult their physician. But for many seniors, this small shift, waking, hydrating, moving, delaying food, is a gentle yet powerful signal to the body that renewal is still possible. The power of this practice does not lie in discipline or deprivation. It lies in respect, respect for your cells, for your organs, for the quiet intelligence that sustains you. We often look for healing in external things, new diets, new supplements, new medications, yet the first step of healing is not adding more, but removing what stands in the way of natural balance. Each morning is an opportunity to begin again. The sunlight that enters your eyes tells your circadian rhythm that it is time to wake. Your skin senses warmth, your lungs draw in air. Your heart adjusts its rhythm. In this harmony of awakening, do not rush. Let your body complete the cleaning that began in the night. In those minutes before breakfast, you are not doing nothing. You are participating in one of life's most essential acts, the act of renewal. There is a quiet dignity in giving your body time to do its work. As we age, we often forget that health is not only about what we add, but what we allow to happen. The body has an extraordinary ability to heal when it is not interrupted. This is the essence of what I call the clean-up mode, or more scientifically, the state of enhanced autophagy. Imagine for a moment your cells as small living workshops. 
Inside them, machines work endlessly, repairing DNA, generating energy, folding proteins. But over time, debris accumulates. Old proteins misfold, mitochondria weaken, and waste products gather in corners. When autophagy is active, these workshops pause their usual production and begin sorting the clutter. They dismantle what is broken, reuse the valuable parts, and clear out what can no longer serve. This process is not chaos, it is wisdom. It is the body remembering how to care for itself. Now before breakfast, this wisdom is alive and active. Your insulin levels are low, your body is not preoccupied with digestion, and your cells have the signal they need to clean. The moment you introduce food, that signal changes. Insulin rises, nutrient sensors awaken, and autophagy quiets down. It is as if the workers are told to stop cleaning and return to production. So delaying that signal, even briefly, means extending your body's cleaning window. It does not take extreme fasting or strict discipline. What matters is consistency. Each morning you postpone breakfast by even half an hour. You remind your cells of their natural rhythm. Over time, this habit strengthens the body's internal balance, improving metabolism, reducing inflammation, and even sharpening the mind. Let us speak of breathing, the simplest yet most profound act of all. When you wake before you eat, take a few minutes to breathe deeply. Fill your lungs fully and exhale slowly. This breath does not merely supply oxygen, it resets your nervous system. It signals calm. In that calmness, your hormones align. Cortisol rises gently, preparing you for alertness. Adrenaline stays balanced. This harmony prevents the stress-driven cravings that often lead us to eat before we truly need nourishment. Breathing in this way becomes a bridge between mind and body. It allows you to listen inwardly. Are you hungry or simply restless? Are you eating because of habit or because your body truly asks for it? With time, this awareness grows. You begin to recognize the subtle cues of genuine hunger, the body's soft rhythmic call for energy, not the loud cry of emotion or routine. There is also light, the oldest medicine on earth. Morning sunlight is not only for vision, it is food for your circadian rhythm. When light touches your eyes and skin, it synchronizes your internal clock, telling your cells when to repair and when to build. Exposure to early sunlight before eating help stabilize your metabolism for the entire day. It balances hormones like melatonin and serotonin, sets your sleep-wake rhythm, and aligns your digestive cycle with the natural world. Seniors often experience disrupted sleep, slower metabolism, and weaker appetite regulation. These are not separate problems. They are symptoms of circadian misalignment. When you greet the morning light on an empty stomach, you give your internal clock a clear, strong signal. It is day, begin your active phase. This clarity helps restore energy, mood, and digestion throughout the day. So, before breakfast, walk for a few minutes in light. Feel the air on your skin. Let the light enter your eyes. Even five minutes can shift your physiology toward renewal. I often reflect on how nature designed us to live in rhythm. The sun rises and our bodies wake. The sun sets and we rest. Our ancestors lived by this pattern, naturally fasting overnight and delaying food until the body had fully awakened. In that simplicity lay health. Today, our clocks are artificial, our mornings rushed, our nights filled with artificial light. The body, confused by this constant stimulation, forgets its natural order. But the good news is, it remembers easily. Within days of restoring morning calm, hydration, light, and movement, your cells begin to respond. Energy returns. Digestion improves. Even the skin becomes clearer as internal inflammation quiets. The body rewards patients with vitality. Now let us look deeper into why this cleanup mode matters so much after 60. Aging cells accumulate damaged components mitochondria that no longer produce energy efficiently, proteins that fold incorrectly, and cellular waste that interferes with function. When autophagy slows, 
this debris builds up. The result is slower energy production, increased inflammation, and reduced resilience. But by practicing a short fast before breakfast, by delaying the first meal of the day, you give your body the gentle stress it needs to wake up its inner repair systems. It is like asking an old machine to oil its gears before starting work. A little friction, a little challenge awakens strength. Science now recognizes that mild stress from fasting, movement, or cold exposure strengthens the body's repair response. We call this hormesis, the principle that small doses of stress improve resilience. The morning fast is one of the most natural forms of this principle. It is not harsh, it is rhythmic. It teaches your cells endurance without exhaustion. When you pair this with light movement, a slow walk, gentle stretching, or deep breathing, the benefits multiply. Movement increases circulation, which delivers oxygen and removes waste. It tells the body that life continues, that repair is worth the effort. You can almost feel it a quiet strength returning, a lightness in the limbs, a clarity in the mind. Many people over 60 believe their bodies are past renewal. They see decline as inevitable. But the science of cellular recycling teaches us otherwise. Renewal is not lost. It is simply dormant, waiting for the right conditions. By giving your body that calm, empty window before breakfast, you awaken a process as ancient as life itself. I often imagine the body as a garden. If you keep adding fertilizer and water without pause, the soil becomes choked, the roots suffocated. The gardener must sometimes stop adding and allow the earth to breathe. The same is true of our inner landscape. Each morning, before we feed it, we must let it breathe. Let it cleanse, let it find balance again. Even the heart benefits from this pause. During fasting states, the body shifts its energy source from glucose to fat, producing molecules called ketones. These molecules are not just fuel, they are signals that reduce inflammation and enhance mitochondrial health. The heart, being rich in mitochondria, functions more efficiently in this state. This is why many people feel calm, alertness, and steady energy after light morning activity before breakfast. The same applies to the brain. Ketones in autophagy protect neurons from oxidative stress, supporting memory and focus. For seniors, this means clearer thinking, steadier mood, and reduced cognitive fatigue. The morning, therefore, is not just a time of physical cleansing but mental purification as well. If you approach this practice not as a rule but as a ritual, it will become a moment of peace. Wake gently. Drink water slowly, feeling it renew your tissues. Breathe deeply, allowing oxygen to reach every corner of your body. Step outside, even for a moment, and let sunlight remind your cells of the rhythm of life. Move softly. Perhaps lift your arms, roll your shoulders, stretch your legs. And only when true hunger arises, when your body asks for nourishment, eat mindfully. This simple sequence, hydration, breathing, light, movement, awareness, done before breakfast, sets the entire day in motion with balance. You have not deprived yourself. You have given your body the rare gift of uninterrupted repair. In a world where speed dominates every hour, slowing down the morning is an act of rebellion a quiet, graceful rebellion in favor of health. Your body does not need more noise. It needs time to listen to itself. Even now, in my own mornings, I practice this ritual. I wake in silence, drink water, breathe slowly, and step into the light. There is no rush, no urgency. I can feel my cells respond as if whispering gratitude. These small moments remind me that longevity is not achieved by doing more, but by doing less, with greater awareness. Before breakfast, your body stands between the past and the future. The night's repair is ending, and the day's demands have not yet begun. It is a fragile balance, one worth protecting. Let that time be yours. Protect it fiercely. Let your body complete its clean-up mode, uninterrupted. For in those minutes of stillness, your body is performing one of the most profound miracles of biology, turning yesterday's damage into today's strength. 